Cell phones and GPS devices are just about everywhere these days, but using them while you drive can wind up killing somebody. Christian Farr takes a look at this problem and a study that could offer a solution. September 2008, right outside of Los Angeles, California, a passenger train collides with a freight train killing more than 20 people and injuring nearly 150 others. Published reports indicate that the commuter train engineer sent a text message to two train enthusiasts one minute before the ill-fated crash. We are going to be obtaining records from their cell phones and from the cell phones of the um, deceased engineer and to begin to uh, you know, determine exactly what might have happened. June 2007 in western New York. Five teens lose their lives in a head-on collision with a tractor trailer. Investigators believe the driver took her eyes off the road to check a text message. The records indicate her phone was in use. And closer to home, September 2006 in Urbana, Illinois, Matt Wilhelm is struck and killed by a car while riding his bike. State police conclude that the driver was downloading a ringtone on her cell phone when the accident occurred. I couldn't believe anyone would be so irresponsible, careless, and self absorbed to be doing something like that while driving. AAA found that the risk of a car accident increases by 50% if the driver is texting. And texting is just one of many mobile technologies that can distract drivers behind the wheel. But could more technology be the solution to this growing problem? This is a test. For some years now, talk and type software has been on the market. It allows you to talk and type without having to use a keyboard. Nuance is a leader of this type of speech recognition technology, but its applications don't stop there. It's also used in cell phones and Bluetooth headsets for voice dialing. I can just voice call somebody. It's a lot easier. Introducing Sync. Play artists, the strokes. Microsoft is even using Nuance's software in its voice sync feature available in many Ford vehicles. It allows you to voice dial your cell phone. Dial. Dialing. As well as control your MP3 player by just asking for a particular song. Play artist Kanye West. Playing artist Kanye West. Stadium status. And it's even installed in GPS devices, where it can do more than just use your voice to input an address. Find the nearest Italian restaurant. It will then go out and search for an Italian restaurant that happens to be near my current location. Earlier this year, Nuance released the results of a study that looked at whether speech recognition technology in cars reduces driver distraction. 30 drivers took part and were asked to operate a car while using a cell phone, MP3 player, or GPS device equipped with speech recognition technology and without. Uh, Mike Weirs is with Nuance. Circuit. We looked at people who were on a moderately populated intermediate road, so 20, 30, 40 miles an hour maximum, and all we asked them to do was change one lane. The study found that when drivers equipped with speech recognition cell phones stayed in their lane nearly 20 percent more of the time than drivers who tried to dial manually. And when it came to texting while driving, analysts made another request of their test subjects. Do you think that this would impair you if we asked you to read some text messages and reply with simple few word answers? Um, they said, yeah, I can probably do that without much impact. Um, but it's actually many times the impact that they anticipated and we're seeing significant numbers of um, errors, traffic violations, and in the worst case, uh, we're seeing uh, actual damage and accidents take place. Even though the numbers prove that speech recognition technology behind the wheel is better for drivers than not having it at all, there are some who believe that the only thing you should be doing when you're behind the wheel is driving. Once you start up your automobile and fix your seat belt, your eyes should be on the road and you should be thinking about getting from point A to point B in a safe and responsible manner. Secretary of State Jesse White is fighting to reduce the number of distracted drivers. Recently, he put together a statewide task force that examined the effects of distracted drivers on Illinois roadways. Besides recommending stiffer penalties, the task force also suggested banning texting while driving, as well as the use of cell phones in school and construction zones. And when it comes to the benefits of speech recognition technology while driving, White doesn't see eye to eye with the study. 
sometimes when you're talking on the cell phone or you are text messaging, you're thinking about your sentence structure, you're talk, thinking about what I'm going to say, um, is my grammar correct, uh, I want to enunciate, uh, or, the bottom line is this, when you're thinking about what you have to say, I think that uh, you get yourself off your mission. Play artist Prince. Playing artist Prince. While Nuance is hoping more people take notice of their findings, Secretary White wants more drivers to put both hands on the wheel, their eyes on the road, and forget about their high-tech gadgets while they're driving. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Christian Farr. But even more technology is making its way behind the wheel. This past summer, Chrysler announced a new option that allows drivers to connect to the Internet inside their cars.